Tim, thank you very much for being available for this uh, very short video blog. I know Keysight Technologies is deeply involved in the development of uh, 5G. What do you think are the key aspects, the key perspectives on this development of 5G from your point of view? Well, we see a lot of challenges still for uh, the understanding of how uh, millimeter wave channels will work. So we've been working on development of some tools to help uh, to understand that. So we've built a channel sounding system which has uh, um, been in uh, significant use down at Bristol University, uh, getting to understand the behavior of the 60 and 73 gigahertz uh, millimeter channel. And um, we're continuing to do uh, onward development of uh, more capabilities looking at uh, MIMO systems in particular and at beam forming and beam steering. And we're showing a system here this week which is like a test bed for beam forming and beam uh, steering, uh, where our value proposition is that we have very precise uh, ability to generate very accurately timed multi-channel signals that can be uh, up-converted to millimeter wave frequencies. So those are definitely some of the technologies that will be in the portfolio for a few years in the 5G or whatever it's called next, right? Yes, very much so. I mean, for 5G to fulfill its uh, potential, it needs to be able to occupy high-end spectrum for short distance communications, and it needs to be able to do that reliably. And to, for that, we need to understand how those channels will work.